Lady, do I look like a young, not young to you? Mocking our holy cause is not appreciated. You will be punished if you continue. Sorry. I am not completely devoid of humor, but leading the children is something I take seriously. Please remember that. Sorry, I'm not familiar with the children. Are you interested in converting to our faith? We can offer you what no one else can. What's that? A lifetime of contentment. Fulfillment in the knowledge you're working to rebuild the planet and make it a better place for those who follow. Oh. Lifetime of contentment, fulfillment, and knowledge. That sounds interesting. Can you tell me more? I do seek fulfillment. You are in the right place for spiritual fulfillment. The children of the cathedral seek a peaceful resolution of our world's problems and could use your help. How can children find peace in the wasteland? With perseverance, the children can accomplish anything. We will not fail. Good, I hope you don't. Blessings of the Holy Flame to you, my child. And to you, mother, sister, and partner. Anything else you can tell me? Blessings of the Holy Flame to you, my child. It's the Holy Flame. There is no one greater than the Holy Flame, and we are his servants. Really? Wow. So what's the reason for someone to join your order? A lifetime of contentment. Fulfillment in the knowledge you're working to rebuild the planet and make it a better place for those who follow. You saying so? Is this the Holy Flame from the Fallout TV series? Are you, is that who Mard, Mardner? Or her name was. He was the leader of the Holy Flame, and this is the leader of the Holy Flame here, apparently. That's very interesting. Tell me more. You are in the right place for spiritual fulfillment. The children of the Cathedral seek a peaceful resolution of our world's problems and could use your help. Plans for mutants. Those that can be brought into the fold shall be. Those that resist will suffer. Sounds like a tough job. With perseverance. The children can accomplish anything. We will not fail. Hey. What? Well, keep on doing that, Priestess. Hi, if you're looking for a job on one of caravans, you should talk to the master merchant. She's in that building to the east. Cool. I'll look for her in a bit. I think what looks he here. Anything I can take? Anything useful? Office of the water merchants. They're the big movers and shakers of the hub. Since they supply the water that keeps everything going. Thanks for the info, Ian. Come on. I don't care what they say, we need new parts. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. What can I do for you? I do a job for them before asking about the water chip. Also, I, I guess I don't have a water chip since it's vault technology. I'm going to go check out that vault southeast of vault 13, vault 12. And if I can't find anything there, I'll come back and ask them. One job. You're great. You're hired. Wait. What position? Oh, caravan guard, right? Yeah, sure. You can work for us. You look okay. Anything else? Nope. Good. You got the okay. I knew it wouldn't be the problem. She's so swamped lately ever since Darren Hightower started hiding in his office. Strange man. We leave just about every five days. That's the first, fifth, 10th and the 15th. So what's the pay? Our pay is 200 hub bucks. It's not that great, but we do go out often and our routes aren't too dangerous. And yes, like everyone else, that is for each way. But of course, you don't have to go both ways. We leave on January 5th. Are you interested? Maybe. Well, just stop by if you decide to work for us. That's the first, the fifth, and so on. Guess we'll head over to Old Town. I believe that's what it's called. Watch your back. 
This isn't a safe place. Thanks for the reminder. You need to save. Fixed weapons, high prices, but really good guns. Sure. Hi, welcome to Jake's. I've got some great merchandise in stock. Feel free to look around. What are you selling? I deal with high-end high end arms. The best stuff you can find this side of the Brotherhood. And since the Brotherhood doesn't deal with outsiders, I've got to say, I'm the best. And I have a sniper rifle. And you would be hard-pressed to find flamethrower fuel anywhere else in the waste. Oh yeah, I've got a Geiger counter too. Very rare. What would I need a Geiger right? Geiger counter for? What do you need a Geiger counter for? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, though it's been 80 years or so since the bombs fell, there's still radiation around you, you goof. You can't see it, never could, but it's there. Heck, I'm willing to bet you've got a, some counts on you. Now, everyone that lives in the waste has a few rad counts. Oh, you can call me a goof all he wants. What you got? He's got a lot of money. Metal armor. Close rocket, flamethrower, hunting rifle. Pulse grenade. Rocket launcher, I imagine. Alt rifle. Metal, leather, combat. Ooh, I could really use some combat. Although that's a little expensive, if I say so. How does a guy counter work? It's pretty simple, actually. You use it, and it tells you how many rads you have. As long as you keep your rad count under a hundred, you should be fine. Go above a hundred, and you're in some trouble. The worst part is, you won't even know you've been sucking up rads until a few days later. Get over a thousand, then you're cooked. Unless you get a whole load of rad away. See you later, man. I'll come back. Shouldn't be going in all these houses. I know there's a house that kills me if I go in. What can I do for you? Or you? My name's Vance, and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? Good to meet you, Vance. What you got for sale? You seem okay. Here's what I've got. Oh, we found a chem dealer. What's this? Oh, just booze. Super stim packs. I can run away, buff out. Impacts. Oh, you're more hooked up than the doctors are. Your staircase. Wait here. Or is locked? Can I unlock it? This lock is beyond your ability to pick. Well, I guess that's it for me then. Maybe I should put a little bit of block pick and sneak into Ted Bundy. Along with short weapons. Maybe in traps. I remember Ted Bunny liked, liked to make traps when he was a kid. Check out a few of these houses. Oh, pretty, pretty stuff. Why is the moon? What do you do around here? Do I do? Then you do. Then we all do. No, really, what do you do? I do this, then I do that. You see Harold? Harold's fun, his hair falls out, his fall falls in the wind. There it goes, wind wind. Guy's a chem addict or something. It's crazy. The moon is out there. He's not wrong though. It's out there somewhere. Harold. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> oh, here's 25. Good luck oh, to you. Kind of your friend. Very kind. 
You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Welcome. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything Me? I can do for you? What's your story, the man? Thing. Well, now, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. Phew. <sighs> Long time. Tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Where is your vault located? You know, I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, east? Oh, I don't know what. <laughs> What did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. <coughs> oh. Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Where are the mutants coming from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the Northwest. You farted Northwest? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> no. We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. What Some was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How do you know the space was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. Yeah. One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then it was just me and Gray. To this day, I don't Mark? know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so I, I never looked. What about Gray? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What was that? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. Gray again? No, you idiot! I just said I never saw him again, didn't I? How did you survive? Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. Did you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. You think you could have been radiation? How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's you how the fucking care more than I do. Thanks for the story. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. See you later, my friends. Well, that's quite interesting. So, we learned about a military base that has super mutants. And that he, quote unquote, says it's a factory of super mutants. And I guess eventually, he also collaborates and says that he came from a vault that's either east or west of here. I'm gonna guess it's the one to the east that makes sense according to the, the vault pamphlet holotape we got. Yeah. Oh, shh. Ben, what are you doing? This is the place where you get killed if you walk in. And I have real 
really no reason to go in there yet. So I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to get shot in the face as soon as I walk through that door. Go talk to the police. Hello, sir. Name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. There's something I can do for you this fine day. Well, you're doing a fine job, sir. Well, thank you. We try our best. It's really tough in a city like this. And of this size. But we do the best we can with what we got. It's hard when they have better firepower than you do. Yeah. Welcome to Mexico, wait. I heard there's the Fallout Sonora mod that's really cool, but it's only in Russian. If there's ever a translation, I'd be more than happy to play it. Unfortunately, I do not know. Cyrillic. Really... Can't really afford that armor. This selection is good, but I'm looking for something with a bit more punch. Got any idea where I could go? Well, you might try the gun runners over in the boneyard. They'll probably have something to suit your needs. I've heard the guys at the Brotherhood of Steel pack a pretty powerful hardware. Some pretty powerful hardware. Two, you might check with them. I think I need to continue on with my quest to try to look for the water chip at this point. I'm going to head to the southeastern area from... From Vault 13. We're gonna look for Vault 12. So we have the Boneyard, the Brotherhood on our map. The Boneyard is just south. I guess I want to check out Boneyard, so let's head down there quickly. Oh, seems to be raiders attacked us. Better kill him. Now you only have your gun to use. You will die. If you start using hand to hand, Ian, I'm gonna have to let you go and let you get killed. Either way, it's up to you. Better put your weapons away while they're here. Thanks for the warning. Welcome to Andy Tom, stranger. Watch yourself, we'll be watching you. Can I ask a few questions? What do you want to know about? What do you do here? What is this place? I'm one of the regulators. It's our job to keep the peace in Anditum and to protect the town. Our boss, Caleb, could tell you more. Can you tell me more about the Boneyard? East of us are the followers. They are a bunch of peace nuts. East are, east are the Blades. Okay, so both the Blades and the followers are to the east. Bunch of skags, if you ask me. A way south from here is the cathedral, where the children have the religious center. What do you know about the children of the cathedral and the followers of the apocalypse? They're both groups of nuts. The followers won't want everyone to be peaceful and happy. They don't realize that the world is too hard for that. Children have some sort of God, they worship in their cathedral to the south. They have a hospital, but they're a little too weird to be on the level. What do you want to know about? Not much, I guess. You. Stern man in his 30s. Good day, Nabi of Assistance. Can you tell me about Andy Tom? Nice enough town, me and the regulars worked hard to keep it that way. Anyone in particular you want to know about? Who runs Anditum? Anditum is run by John Zimmerman, 
He's an upright fella. Takes good, good care of the old town. Old the town? Of the town, okay. You should go and see him. Anything else? Where can I find Zimmerman? You'll find him in that big building southwest. He's might be able to put enough sentences together to let you know what we're looking for. That we're looking for someone to help with the blades. What's going on with the blades? They've done something to Zimmerman. Half Zimmerman's half-witted son. But like I said, go talk to Zimmerman about it. Alright, I get the picture. I'll go talk to Zimmerman. I'm guessing that the Zimmerman in Fallout 3 is at least related to this person, or if it isn't the same Zimmerman. Or just a coincidence. Good day, what can I do for you? Can I ask your name? Why, well, everyone just calls me Smitty, probably because I'm the local blacksmith. Oh, cool. Tell me what you have for sale. Crowbar, 14 mil pistol, you make ammo. Nice, nice. You make guns and bullets? Well, building guns and making shells takes machining, and I just don't have the tools for that. But with the help of Miles, the chemist, I can reload old brass since I can cast bullets. Where did, where did you get all of your shop equipment? Why, any competent blacksmith can make his own anvil. Of course, I really just sort of learned the craft by practicing. I made the most of my own tools. Well, see you soon. Good luck with that. Let you know if I need to play more. Actually, that would be sick for a character. Although, it would have to be one-handed to play more. So, like, maybe a little katana. Ooh. What is this? Beer. You, friend. Hello, stranger. Maybe I certain. May I be of service? Just looking around, thanks. You need to know the people of Anditown. I'm called Chuck. Welcome to Anditown. I'm afraid that most of the people here aren't too forthcoming with strangers, though. Yeah, I noticed. These people of Anditown have much to do in a normal day. They do not want their work to be found wanting at the end of the day. They seem a little quiet around here. The regulators make sure that the people of Anitum sometimes suffer because of their strict rules. And you're okay with this? Since I wish to stay here, I accept the regulators as part of that which is Anitum. However, I do what I can to lighten their lives. You do not seem to agree with what they do. The regulators protect their own interests, and I must respect that. I don't necessarily agree with that view, but I can understand it. So it sort of seems like the regulators may be using these guys as free labor. They just protect them, but if they want to be here, they need to work. I don't believe we've met. I'm Miles. What can I do for you? That smock makes you look like a scientist. What are you studying? I'm a chemist. Mostly I make primer and powder so that we can reuse brass casings from bullets. But I also double dabble with some other chemicals. So you make bullets for Aditum? Yes, yeah, so although Smithy... Smitty is the one who actually cast the bullets. I just refill the brass and casings. But the hub merchants make a profit off of you and the town? Yes, well, we have to make a living. Since the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we don't have to... We have to buy food from the merchants, and bullets are the only thing we have to sell. I can try to get the parts to fix a hydroponics farm. Really, that would be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts, but I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we could be self-sufficient. Samuel might be able to give you some help. Who is Samuel? Matter. 
Where the hell does this go? Oh, this is the hydroponics thing, no? It's a mushroom farm. Nice. Oh, the gypsy fortune teller. I ask what you do around here. I'm a farmer. I also like to do a little bit of work on the buildings, restoring them and keep them keeping them intact. And sometimes I give advice. What kind of advice? Chuck pulls out a set of tarot cards. Let me consult the cards. Chuck shuffles the cards. Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a man with a vibro blade and a flag. The pride of swords in the north. We must face a powerful foe far to the north. Thanks for the advice. Good journeys, Wanderer. So I have to face a powerful foe far to the north. <laughs> I'd rather not, thank you. Samuel, then. What's this? Whoa. <laughs> um, don't mind if I do? Wow. Nothing the back. Guess I'm going to put everything into my new backpack. I hit the jackpot here. I took someone's bug out bag. What do you want? Who are you? I'm John Zimmerman, mayor of Anditum. What's it to you? The guard said you had a job for me. I might. Have you ever dealt with a vicious, murdering and the thieves before. What is it out here? Is there any place in the wasteland that doesn't have a gang problem? Uh, you've dealt with gangs before? You could say that. Good, then you know how ruthless and bloodthirsty they can be. The blades are the worst of them all. I'm afraid we're a humble, God-fearing town that is only trying to survive. And these, these monsters that prey on us, he whispers under his breath, and their children. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. What's the job entail and what's it worth to you? I'll give you 200, 2,000 caps to kill their leader. I want that bitch's head. You seem to have something personal against her. She had my son kidnapped, tortured, and killed. They left him impaled on the post right outside the gates. Those sick bastards. I'll take the job. Thank the gods, finally my sh son shall be avenged. The Blades camp is to the north of here. Come back when you've done the job. Well, I'm not quite sure I'm going to help him, but I can at least say I am. And maybe someone will pay me more to do something else. Where is Samuel? I'm missing something. Someone. Well, friend. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you today? My name's Ted Bundy. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Tyne. Can I ask you about the hub merchants? I do some training with them from time to time. I mostly sell bullets in exchange for food. Can I ask you about the hub merchants? I'd like to do some trading. Uh, I guess I just do want to do some trading. So I ask them about the hub merchants. Oh shit, what's this? Plasma grenade. Thanks for our fuel. Rifle ammo. 